Good day, welcome to the Gulf News Update for Wednesday, February the 15th. Here are the top stories at this hour. India's space agency said it successfully launched more than 100 foreign nanosatellites into orbit aboard a single rocket. The Indian Space Research Organization said the nanosatellites, those weighing less than 10 kilograms, were sent into orbit on board its polar satellite launch vehicle in southern India. The agency said the launching of the 104 satellites was a record, overtaking Russia's feat of sending 37 satellites in a single launch in 2014. Just six days into his presidency, Donald Trump was informed his national security adviser had misled his vice president about contacts with Russia. Trump kept his number two in the dark and waited nearly three weeks before ousting the aide, Michael Flynn, citing a slow but steady erosion of trust, White House officials said. President Donald Trump won't centre his Israel-Palestinian policy goals around achieving a two-state solution to the conflict. Briefing reporters ahead of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's visit to the White House today, an official said it's Trump's view that it's not for the US to impose its vision for the terms of a peace deal. Barcelona coach Luis Enrique admitted his side needed a heroic performance in the return to stand any chance of overturning a humiliating 4-0 defeat to Paris Saint-Germain in their Champions League last 16 first leg. They were superior to us from the start, he told reporters. Guns N' Roses have apologised after confusing the southern city of Melbourne with Sydney on their Australian tour. Concert goers booed the US rockers when guitar technician McBob said hello to Sydney at the Melbourne Cricket Ground as he introduced the group on stage. Sydney, you want the best but they're stuck in traffic so here's what you get, he said. And finally the weather. Today's high across the UAE will be 30 degrees Celsius, dropping to 22 degrees at night. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. But as always, you can get the latest news on golfnews.com.